Young's Civil 3D Minute. We hope to show you in about a minute how to do some very important tips and tricks in Civil 3D. Today we're looking at the tool palettes. If you'll notice I've got several things on my tool palette already. If I right click inside of here I can create a new palette right there and name it what you want. Right now what I'm going to show you is if I click on road center line it automatically changes to that layer and I start drawing lines they are on the proper layer. If I come back over here and draw the property line, it does the same thing on the property line layer. This is a very quick way to get items on the proper layers as you wish. I've also inserted a block here. If I click on that block, it will read the block, place it on my drawing, and then of course I have to zoom in so you can see what it looks like. Very crude, rude uh, block, but that's okay. Now you're probably wondering how to do this yourself, so I'll show you. I've got a tool palette over here. I've set my current layer to road label, so I'm going to just draw a line in my drawing that's on that layer now. I must save the drawing, or that line is not uh, part of the actual DWG file. Now by clicking on the line after saving the drawing, I can hold the mouse down. You'll see it turn into a little box there. Drag that line over here to the tool palette, and voila, there it is. When I click that line now, I'm on the proper layer. By the way, let's change this back to something else for a moment. We'll set it to the zero layer just so you can see it happen. Clicking on line, you'll notice it goes to the road layer and it draw, draws on the proper layer. I can right click on this and rename it if I choose to. Much, much more to come. If I save you five minutes an hour, you're saving one month per year. Do the calculations. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.